Can I have a squeeze? I can take the mask. Yes, please, yes. sir. Yes. Just uh, Thank you very much. Uh, at the council meeting uh, today and tomorrow, one of the big uh, topics that we'll be discussing is on Russia. And uh, the concern that I have as the Prime Minister of Latvia is that uh, if we want to open up a dialogue uh, as European leaders with Russia, uh, we need certain steps also coming from the Russian direction. The dialogue fell apart in uh, 2014. Uh, along with the uh, uh, annexation, the illegal annexation of Crimea. There's ongoing warfare in the Donbas area. Uh, these are the issues that need to be addressed, and then we can speak with Russia. Uh, the Kremlin understands power politics. Uh, the Kremlin does not uh, uh, understand uh, 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 free concessions as a, a sign of strength. Uh, so as, a, as a, the leader of Latvia, this is a big concern of mine uh, coming into the Council tonight. So you're not in favor of the German-French proposal? Uh, uh, right now, again, uh, we only have read about this, uh, and, and the, the, the paper was submitted only last night. I've read through uh, the proposal, the concrete text. I see difficulties in it, and the difficulty is that in order to open up this dialogue, and I'm all for, all for the dialogue, but a dialogue needs to come at a certain cost also to Russia. So right now, the way, if it, if it, if it pans out uh, the way it's proposed, is that uh, Russia annexes Crimea, Russia wages war in Donbas, and Europe shrugs its shoulders and continues to try to speak a dialogue. The Kremlin does not understand this kind of politics. Why do you think it comes now? Uh, maybe that's, of course, the speculation in, in the media that, that has something to do with it. But Europe's position and the U.S.'s uh, position is uh, different uh, on one level, and it's different because the U.S. is a federal government with one leader. Europe is a, uh, is a union of 27 independent member states with 27 foreign ministers and 27 heads of government. So the situation is a little different. I, the, yes, uh, I've spoken with my Lithuanian colleague. Apparently, there are uh, organized. Uh, this is what seems to be a, a, a movement of uh, uh, people coming from the Middle East uh, through Minsk uh, up to the uh, Lithuanian border. This is deeply concerning, uh, and it's something that we are working together with our uh, southern neighbor uh, to address uh, jointly. And of course, we're also putting it on the table at the Council that this is actually a European uh, problem. A quick follow up on Russia. New economic sanctions are also going to be discussed. What do you think about that? Uh, economic sanctions is one of the most powerful tools that we have as democracies. Uh, and we have been very supportive of economic sanctions against Russia, against Belarus. Uh, sometimes people say, that the sanctions uh, don't have an effect. Sanctions need time and they need consistency. That's when the effect comes. If there were to be a summit with Putin, would you participate? Uh, once again, it's very important that we as Europeans speak in a strong, single voice. I think we're not quite there as to deciding what our Russia policy should be. I think today we should have a discussion, but we should postpone any real decisions until the fall so that we can really um, get our heads around the policy options and to choose the one which is best for all of us. Thank you. Uh, tolerance is a core European value, and I think tolerance needs to be expressed at all levels in all countries. Thank you very much.